Hi, I'm Naomi and this is my channel and I always wanted to make a video with me in it playing The Sims but I never really, I guess, did it. I'm finally going to do it and I got inspired by little Simsy. I'm gonna link her channel down below. She's real nice and she makes really cool builds. So today's video is gonna be me trying to make a house in The Sims but there's a twist. I can only use one color of stuff. When I build it, it will probably be like pink or blue we'll see because i'm not sure i could do this challenge with pink i don't think there's enough stuff that is pink in the sims but when i start building it i'm gonna look at that and see so either blue or either pink we'll see and also i'm gonna put the time that it took me and i'm gonna make a very small build so it's not like too hard for my first challenge i guess so yeah this idea is an original for me like i said before it's from a little simsy so let's get on with the video Okay, so over here, I didn't really have any like inspiration for the shape of the house. I just tried to do like a really small one so it wasn't too difficult. And I did end it up with uh, picking, choosing pink as my color. I didn't even look if there, there was enough like pink stuff in the Sims game. But I figured I had I'd had more fun uh, using pink for my build. So basically over here, it's not very that complicated. I just, I'm trying to make kind of a shape of a house and then I'm trying to do the roofing, but I'm not that good yet. I'm getting better at it, but um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm looking up some stuff online to like get better at it. So like, don't be too harsh on my roofing because in the sense part, it's, it's not like um, automated roofing, so it's pretty hard. You have to do like each single little thing by yourself. So yeah, I tried my best to uh, keep everything pink. And also, I also wanted the house to be like cute and stuff. I didn't want it to be just like, like ugly pink house. Also yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'm just like doing the outside of the house. And I was really happy when I found those like pink columns because it, I don't know, it's another like a little tiny pink stuff. And also found like uh, pink stairs with tiles on them. I mean, they're not really up to date for now, but it feels like it's pink. So it it did count, I, I felt like. I also found a pink door. I was really happy about that. A pink outdoor door it was pretty cool. And then I decided to do a patio in the back of the, the house. I still use again the same pink stairs because I don't think there's any other pink stairs in the Sims. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, and also found pink roofing. I mean, I think they, they had a lot of pink roofing, but I ended up choosing this one because it was the one that looked the best. I mean, with my opening and stuff. I know it took me a long time to choose the windows. Like, I couldn't figure out how to put them, how to, like, put them on the house without it looking, like, weird and stuff. But I feel like you're gonna like the end result. I feel like my window placement was way better than I thought it was going to be because at first when I started I was like that's not going to work, that's not going to be cute. And then I decided also to put like uh, flowers on the windows and I found some pink little flowers to put on the windows like that. It was like a nice touch to the house also to like break. Um, the like load of thing that is everywhere it would like bring it down a little it's it kind of looks like a little cottage i mean it's cute i wouldn't buy a house like that but i feel like for a pink challenge it's going pretty great in my opinion i feel like i did a pretty good job and also a big disclaimer i couldn't there's some stuff that i couldn't find in pink 
So I did put a little bit of stuff um, that wasn't pink. I mean, I cheated a little bit, but I wanted the house to be like functional to play with. And also I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put down below uh, my name for my Sims gallery. So if you guys want to download my house, you can still go and I don't know, like play in it and stuff. Um, yeah, and I also decided to do some, um, not gardening, I, gardening, but I put a lot of plants around the house to make it look even more cuter. And I even found like some pink plants, um, some little flowers to make it um, cuter, I guess. And also since the house was pretty small, I felt like it would bring it up a notch. I was really happy with the, um, the pink tree is really pretty. I didn't think I would find a pink tree that was like this cute. And also the hot tub, which is pink, it's pretty cool. I did put a barbecue and an easel, which weren't pink. But like I said before, I really wanted this house to be like functional so that people can play in it. And also that it's usable and not like totally boring because it's pink and, and you can't do anything in it. So I tried to say as much as pink, but still make the house like enjoyable and playable with stuff to do inside also. And the kitchen was really hard. Like I couldn't find, I feel like it's more purple than pink, but I felt like it counted because I mean, I don't have all the packs, so maybe there's some more pink stuff in other packs. But I felt like it was close enough. Otherwise, it was the only like close enough thing of pink I could find in the kitchen counters. Which I think it turned out pretty well, but it's a lot of pink. But at the same time, I mean, that's a challenge. I wanted to see if I could do it. And I, I chose pink because it's actually my favorite color. Yeah, I know. So not surprising. I'm a girl and my favorite color is pink. Like, really? <laughs> I love it. And um, yeah, I felt like choosing the kitchen is actually pretty cute for a pink kitchen. I feel like if I would redo this kitchen in my in a normal way, maybe it would be really cute. But with the pink, it's like it's an overload of pink. But it still is a cute kitchen. And also, if you can see there, uh, my tree goes inside my house. But I didn't feel like moving it because I felt like it had a, like a nice touch inside the house. And also, I had trouble like choosing the, the shade of the walls because I felt like every other like shade color of, uh, of the wall was like overpowering everything since everything's already pink. I was trying to make it like a little less. I was really happy that I found like a small children TV that was pink. I was really happy about that. Cause I couldn't, besides that TV, I couldn't not, um, I couldn't put a TV there. And yeah, it took me a long time to figure out those like posters on that wall. <laughs> and I really wanted this little corner to be cute. And yeah, I did move them again. <laughs> I really, I did move them a lot. I was really happy about those little like cute doors that I found because they're pink and there's, they are like inside doors. And over there, I'm really like, I did the entire house and I realized looking back that I shouldn't have like separated this, this, that way. I feel like my bathroom shape on the right is really weird. I mean, I'm really happy about the stairs because I found, again, uh, pink stairs. But I feel like my bathroom is so, like, long and skinny. It's such a weird shape. Like, I couldn't figure out how to decorate it for it to be, like, I don't know, like, cute and stuff. I feel like it looked weird since it was, like, very long. I mean, if I had to redo it, I would really, like, I don't know, make the bathroom smaller so it wouldn't look as weird. But I finished the house, then I realized that, so... <laughs> I guess I was like, am I gonna redo the entire house? No, there's no time for that. Um, and then upstairs, I think I, I used the same shade, shade of pink because I liked it. And I figured there was like an extra room there, so I was like, oh, let's make it like a closet. 
Let's be really extra and make it big walk in closet. Closet and it's for like a one person house, which is weird, really weird. Like the shape that I gave to the house was really weird. Weird. And I feel like I could have made a really better shape, but I figured that out like on my way of like decorating it. I did all the outside first. And I was like, oh, that's just such a weird shape to put like stuff in it and all of that. But then I was like, I'm not going to redo the entire house. But I feel like there's one thing that I struggle with building in a sense, really like making like great house shapes because I'm really bad at it. And yeah, I use, I try to use as much pink stuff uh, in the bathroom, in the bedroom too. But I feel like it turned out okay. But some stuff don't really match, but I couldn't find like cute, cute pink stuff that all match, all match together. But I feel like it turned out pretty great. The only thing I wish I did different, maybe the carpets, but I couldn't figure out which carpet would look greater. I guess I felt like this was the one that looked the best. But I wish there was like more, I really like natural like pink carpet without any like I don't know motives on it yeah and that's pretty much the end of the house now i'm just like going through the house and showing it um i'm really happy about how it turned out the only thing i would change is definitely the bedroom upstairs because i really don't like don't like that much how it turned out besides i feel like the rest of the house is pretty good i'm just adding like small touches because i wanted to it to have like a litter for cats and stuff but I kind of forgot to put like <laughs> a bowl for the, the cat in the kitchen. But you know, it's fine. If you use the house, you can still add yours. So now I'm going around just showing the house a little bit. Um, yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with how it turned out besides the bedroom, like I said before. I'm just adding lights because I forgot. And <laughs> now I'm adding them at the very end. And the cutest pink light I could find was the um, was this one. I feel like all the other ones were like overpowering, and I did add some more posters over there, and I felt like it looked way better. And a little plant, and also a big ice cream cone. I thought I thought it brought like everything together a little more. It's definitely for like one only person house with a cat, maybe. <laughs> one very extra uh, lady or uh, I mean even uh, a guy could live there if they love thing that much <laughs> yeah I'm just going around showing the house and I'm really happy with how the stairs turned out it's really cool with the railing I don't know why my game lagged there but, but there's like two sides of the stairs inside yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can find it on uh, my Sims. So much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And also, if you want to see more of this kind of content, subscribe and like my video and maybe like put the notification bell on so you can see whenever I post videos on my channel. And also, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.